So the company Dove released a marketing campaign, marketing to um, a wide demographic, black, Hispanic, white, etc., which is what they do on a normal basis. But the marketing ad consists of a black woman pulling off her shirt. And when she pulls off the shirt that is the color brown, and I want to point that out, when she pulls that shirt off, all of a sudden a white woman appears with um, a lighter shirt on. And, you know, a lot of people were in the uproar about this and it was deemed as racist. And uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, part of what I do for a living is marketing. I market artists. I market, um, you know, these different television shows and uh, movies that you guys see. You know, I won't get into detail of what projects I've been a part of, but it's part of what I do for a living. And, you know, I know how a lot of times, you know, um, different studios or companies will depict black people. And I've been in business meetings and, you know, got into some heated debates and arguments because of how our people were being portrayed in, the, in certain uh, television shows, marketing campaigns, et cetera, et cetera. And when you look at the marketing campaign that they did, basically what they're displaying is if you're a black person you're deemed as dirty. You're deemed as, you know, someone who is not clean. And when you use the, the soap dove, all of a sudden that makes you clean, even if you're a black woman. And, you know, that was the depiction that most people got from, uh, you know, this, this campaign. And, you know, from my uh, professional point of view, I think that whoever was involved in this campaign was definitely trying to display some type of racism because, I don't see how you get how uh, using a black woman to lift up her shirt and then magically a white woman appear, how that really markets the, the product out. You know, there, there, there's no, you can't really justify, you know, somebody might try to lie, a white person might lie and say, oh, we were just trying to reach, you know, a broad demographic or reach the black demographic. No, because how this is displayed is definitely racism. And if I'm not, you know, mistaken, the company Dove was, um, you know, branded in the 50s. And if we go back to the 50s, we know, you know, that's 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 when, you know, the civil rights movement was going on. It was, you know, racism. It's still racism now. But um, we had a lot of different things going on here in this country and a lot of different battles going on. And, and it was it was right in our face. It wasn't. Uh, institutionalized racism or prejudice it was in our face so it's not you know naive of someone to, to think that you know maybe when this company was founded they weren't really trying to market out to the black audience or the people who are owners of the, the company dove didn't have any certain biasness or, or racist thoughts towards the black community so that's not too far off and, you know, a lot of people out here, um, you know, I checked out a couple of videos and, you know, been on social media and, and looking at a lot of thoughts. And a lot of people are saying, you know, well, um, why didn't, you know, this black woman know what she was getting into and, you know, she shouldn't have signed up to do this type of commercial. But the thing is, is that a lot of times when you're an up and coming actor, actress, you try to get in where you can fit in, especially as a black actress or actor because it's extremely hard to break into, uh, you know, the Hollywood industry. As you guys know, you know, I stay in LA. I'm in the entertainment industry. I know how hard it is, how, you know, um, you know, tight it is to even find work as a black entertainer. So a lot of times, you know, the up and coming actors or, uh, or actresses will take a gig, you know, quick commercial, or, you know, you might not even have a speaking role. You just might be a, a cameo or whatever. And they'll take these gigs to kind of get their foot in the door, you know, keep a check coming in. So it's a high possibility that this sister did not know how she would be displayed within this, this, this ad. And this is why it's important. And I always say this to people who are trying to break into um, the entertainment industry, or even if you're on the independent level, always know what you're getting into before you sign any contracts, before, um, you know, you agree to anything verbally or written, you need to know what you're getting into. You need to know how you will be um, 
portrayed and marketed out to the masses because a lot of times, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll pick up somebody who is trying to, you know, get their foot in the door or whatever, and, and, and they'll basically use you as a guinea pig, okay, and you quick to, you know, you might be behind on bills or, you know, you're just trying to uh, make a little money, and you quick to sign that contract because you need the money not knowing of how you would be depicted within the ad. So a lot of times, you know, this, this happens quite often. A lot of campaign ads you guys don't see. Um, a lot of times you have cats like myself and other brothers and sisters that are out here and fighting to keep these negative images from being displayed out here to the masses. And, you know, this isn't the first time with the whole, you know, racist soap campaign ad. We can go back to nigga Joe's tar soap. Okay, what was, what was another one? Uh, cause I, I study these ads for a living to per perfect my craft and, and also to know my history. We can go back to, uh, Pierce Soap. That was a racist ad. Go, go back and, and, and study your history on, on, on these, these soap, different soap campaigns. What was another one? Uh, Villanoia Soap. Where they had on the cover it say, you dirty boy, and they had the image of a black boy on it. That was racist. What was another one? Let me think. That one, it's right off the top of my head. Sunlight soap. That was racist. They had the image of a black baby on the cover. Basically giving off the image that when you use their products, it even makes a black baby shine. And it gives them sunlight. So, you know, this is not the first time of, you know, these people who practice white supremacy putting these different ads out here. This, this has been going on since the beginning of time. But it's about... You know, what are we going to do? And I'm not out here, you know, the, the campaign boycott and dove. So, you know, if we do do that, I'm on board with it. But at the same time, I, I don't use dove. So I'm not going to come out here and, and, and campaign to boycott dove when I don't use it. But uh, for you brothers and sisters who do use dove, it's up to you guys. You know, what are you going to do? Because at the end of the day, these corporations don't care about anything but the bottom line. We can come out here and say we're upset and which we have the right to be upset. But we can come out here and say, you know, it's racism and, you know, uh, uh, we're upset about it and et cetera, et cetera. But all these corporations give a damn about is the bottom line, the dollar bill. So until that dollar bill is affected, they're going to keep pulling little slick stunts like this. So it's all about. Those black folks out there who do support the product of Dove, what are you guys going to do?